see it on our upper levels. So this ridge is almost like a mountain. You can see it building right here out towards Texas, comes across Georgia, and then back in towards the Bahamas. So that is a big dome of heat that is going to be shifting towards the east over the next few days, and that's going to allow for us to warm up especially along the coast and in towards our inland communities. So the forecast will be dry. We'll get the new drought index tomorrow to see what happens. We haven't seen much as far as rain showers and thunderstorms activity over the past week. And remember, we're still in a moderate drought. And then this will be our saving grace as we head through Saturday into Sunday. It's a weak front. We'll get it to stall over the area by Sunday into Monday, and that's going to add some instability to the mix. Then we combine the sea breeze to it. Then we'll get those daytime showers and storms popping. So a little more as far as rain chances are in the forecast, but we got to wait until Monday. So a little bit of heat to endure right in time for the weekend. So tonight, very mild, 70 in Sebastian, 70 Fort Pierce, about 70 Port St. Lucie, low to mid 70s out towards Okeechobee County, northeastern Palm Beach County. We have 70 in the farms tonight in Jupiter, Tequesta, Abacoa, 74 as you wake up in Juneau Beach, 70 out towards Wellington, and also in towards Royal Palm, low 70s through downtown West Palm Beach, Hypoluxo 76 tonight, 74 in Delray and Boca. We're just down to 75. Wave heights still look good. See, so it's running about a foot to two feet. And with the same regime in, in store for tomorrow, our boating forecast is still going to be looking great as well. Seas on average just about two feet. Beach is going to be nice, but remember the SPF because we're talking about really getting that high UV, high UV index between 1 and about 4 p.m. tomorrow. Our winds out of the southeast at 15 to 20. Moderate chop expected on the intracoastal. Water temperature warming up at 78. All right, here's a look at South Florida certified most accurate forecast. To the 90s we go tomorrow and then Friday, Saturday, I've got impact weather. Why? Because we're talking about temperatures at least 10 degrees above average. You combine the humidity, it's going to feel like 100s across all the area, pretty much the Treasure Coast and the Palm Beaches. Rain chance is still low through Saturday, Sunday, but watch what happens. We're going to flip the switch on Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Rain chances come up, but the heat sticks around, but at least we're looking at some better rain chances next week.